Now, our CBS affiliate in San Diego, KFMB TV8, did a reenactment of the suicide. Now, let me say, this is not a scientific reenactment, uh, but I do think it is thought-provoking and worth showing. Let's take a look. 26-year-old Patricia Lanham agreed to reenact the Zahau hanging scenario. She's about the same height and 15 pounds heavier than Rebecca Zahau. This is the same type of rope that detectives say Zahau cut into three pieces and tied to the foot of a bed. Another section of rope she used to tie her ankles, wrapping it several times in a figure eight pattern, according to investigators. Next, the noose, a simple slip knot. Then detectives say she used a long sleeve shirt to gag herself. And that seems really odd and bizarre. Like, why would she do that? Why would she go through the, these steps? And it just seems highly unusual. Investigators believe Zahau bound her wrists using the same figure eight pattern, first in front of her body. Then she would have slipped one hand out and reinserted it into the ropes behind her back. While bound and gagged, Zahau would have hopped across the bedroom. Detectives say Zahau leans forward and falls over the balcony head first. A nine foot drop before the rope snaps tight. This punching bag is the same weight as Rebecca Zahau, 100 pounds. We tie the bag to the leg of a bed and drop it off a balcony. The bed moves dramatically, 36 inches, exactly five times farther than the bed Rebecca Zahau allegedly used to hang herself. What's your reaction to that? Well, there was never her DNA on the balcony ledge, and the other things, the, the knots are not the same. And then with the footprints, she had to have hopped leaving two feet like this and then partial toe print, that's all they found, and go off the edge after she shuts the door behind her and turns off the light behind her and knocks off a chair. That's, that's on the rope. We've always said this would take a Cirque du Soleil contortionist artist to do this. As to the bed, that's huge. 7.5 inches is, is the, all it moved in this case. And, and it, by the way, how did Becky get out on the balcony to see how much rope she needed to not you know, hit the ground and survive? Uh, there's no footprints from that, but this, this bed literally jumped across the room. 7.5 inches is what the police said it moved, and the other thing is about it uh, is it looks like it doesn't really move within the carpet anyway, like it might have been picked up a little bit. So 